Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for September 8 through September 11. Significant solar activities over the last 30 hours have yielded 5M class and 1X class category blasts, with two of these flares being earthbound and earth directed. I am expecting the possibility of a fairly large earthquake, possibly one over 8 in magnitude, during this watch. We are now looking at the latest telemetry from ACE, where we get to see fairly minimal changes in solar wind speeds and solar wind temperature over the last 24 hours. The main rate of change seems to be in solar wind density. And that's an indication that there's not a lot of power behind the solar winds currently. This may change over the next 24 to 36 hours upon the arrival of the coronal mass ejections that were released over the last 24 to 36 hours. We're now looking at the KP index and conditions are reasonably quiet. I'm expecting over the next day or two this to change quite rapidly with a possible G1 or G2 class geomagnetic storm upon the arrival of the coronal mass ejections as released from the M class and X class category blasts which were earth facing. Now looking at Cactus, where we get to see a digital view of a full halo coronal mass ejection as released from the solar corona immediately after the M 5.3 class solar flare. Now the majority of this coronal mass ejection is aimed slightly above the Earth, so we won't be receiving the full brunt on the Earth's magnetic field, but the wake will still hit the Earth's magnetic field sometime on September 9. It's also worth noting that approximately half a day after this, the effects of the X flare will also hit the Earth's magnetic field. So we may be receiving a significant seismic shock upon the arrival of these coronal mass ejections. We're now looking at the latest coronal hole information via Solon.info. I'm going to be focusing on this coronal hole region CH475 for this watch. It extends just above the equator up to about 15 degrees north latitude. Now looking at the 193 angstrom with solar monitor. And we get to see that this active region has produced all this activity was located at 14 degrees north latitude. We also have another active region in behind that's in between this coronal hole formation. And the main areas of focus for this watch will be targeting the top portion of this coronal hole located around 9 to 17 degrees north latitude. My number one area of concern for this watch are for the regions in and around Central America or more specifically the regions between Nicaragua, El Salvador, Guatemala and Mexico. We do have a long fault line that extends right through here and this will be the main area of concern for this watch. And my second area of concern is for the region of Andaman Islands. The regions of Guam and Mariana Islands are also along this same latitude zone and this will be my third area of concern for this watch. Now have another look at this coronal hole and I will target another region that may produce another event. We're now looking at the southern hemisphere and I feel there may be an event around 5.8 to 6.3 in magnitude and the main areas of focus for the southern hemisphere I feel will be the regions underneath Ascension Island down towards the southern mid-Atlantic ridge. And my second area of watch for the southern hemisphere are for the regions of Samoa and Tonga. I've just noted a 5.1 earthquake in the Kermatic Islands upon making this recording. That would indicate that the regions of Papua, Indonesia or the New Britain region, Papua New Guinea, could also receive a significant event in the coming days. We're now looking at some significant ionospheric anomalies as shown over the last six to seven days. The main regions are southwest of Indonesia and the top portions of India. We've also seen significant anomalies just above the Samoan region and also above Panama. These would be the main regions of watch as far as ionospheric anomalies. We're now looking at the outgoing long wave radiation anomaly. This is a five day moving average and showing parts of the globe that could be susceptible of some significant seismic events based on these radiation signatures and the areas that we're focusing on are shaded in darkish green. The main areas this week are just south of Japan and that's the Benin Islands and Izu Islands region stretching down towards Mariana Islands. The Gulf of Mexico has a reading stretching down towards Honduras and Guatemala. And that's my volcano and earthquake watch for September 7, 2011. Annotations will be added during and at the end of the video. Thanks for watching.